Hey up everybody. Okay, then I'm on the next part of this uh, modification to this e-bike hub wheel that I've been doing. Uh, I did that in parts 1, 2 and 3. And on this part I'm going to exchange the, the wheel rim on that, on that wheel, which is now working, into my mountain bike rim, which is a 26 inch. That's my donor bike on my fold away bike uh, stand that I made in a previous video if you want to have a look at that it just folds away uh, it's not in way at all it just folds away down side at cupboard anyway my plan is then to put this uh, electric hub into this mountain bike and my next job is to strip this wheel down take all the spokes out get the rim off and then put that rim into that uh, repaired hub that I've done in the previous videos. Okay, next job then. I've got all the spokes out now, I've got all the nipples out and I'm going to reuse the nipples and I'm going to reuse the spokes. I'm just determining how much I've got to cut off of these original spokes. I've got to shorten all my spokes now and I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do this. Uh, because the threads are rolled on spokes, you don't cut the threads on with a die. It's so you don't lose any material. So I can't cut a thread on, I can't chop them, off, chop them off and cut a thread on. Well, not, not only that, I've not got a, a proper die to do that. To buy a, a, a die that rolls the thread on is quite expensive and, you know, for a one-off project it's not really worth it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shorten them on the other end. Uh, and I need to take 20mm off the length. So, first stage, I'm going to bend them on the end to give me that. That's my first bend. Then my second bend, I'm going to bend that over at 90 degrees to the other bend. And then I'm going to chop the end off just enough to grip inside the hub probably f five or six millimeter and then that will thread into the hub and uh, instead of being a J bend it's an S bend and that will grip in the hub and that way it's leaving all my thread intact so I'll just show you how I'm going to do, a, do one and then uh, it's just repetitive work, I'm going to just work through them. Right, first of all then I've got a piece of 1 8 plate or 3 mm, 3.2 mm. I've drilled an hole in it to suit my spokes. In my case the hole's 2.5 mm. And on each side of the hole I've chamfered with a centre drill just to give take the, the corner off both sides. And then all I'm doing is threading my spoke in and I've made a little jig to get me to get everyone the same length, putting me 
I spoke up to that jig. And then while I bend it, I'm just clamping it with some mole grips. Then it's just a matter of bending that side first. So that's got me, got me first bend on. I'll just double check that length. 213, that's what I'm looking for. Then the second bend, leave it, leave it in the hole as it was. Then I've got a bit of 16th packing here, then I'm going to use another set of mole grips. Because obviously there's a radius in that corner now and I want to leave that radius intact. I'm just going to clamp that to there. And then I'm going to bend the other side up. Right, maybe you want to see that. I'm just going to get a bit of tubing on that and, and bend it upwards. And then just finish it off with a a brass dolly, just to get a nice parallel bend. And then it just twists out, and then I've got to cut the end off now five or six millimeter up and then that'll fit inside my hub just moved over to my cutting disc on my grinding on my grinding wheel I'm just going to cut that end off now and then this will fit into the hub like that so looking at it from the other way that's how it's going to fit so I'm going to continue then and uh, do these other 30 odd spokes the same so I'll catch you I'll reconvene when I've done all these spokes now.